It's not about me. It's about the good people at Drake. Fired English teacher Robert Moulton left court this afternoon, insisting famed defense lawyer Alan Dershowitz would come to his rescue. He wishes that he could defend Jesus, and I'm the closest thing to Jesus. Moulton admits he forced quite the spectacle at Drake at High School yesterday when he banged on the doors and demanded entry, triggering a lockdown. Moulton says he knew he'd be arrested for violating a no trespass order taken out against him by school officials, but he says it was an act of civil disobedience to call attention to his claim that he'd been wrongly fired. I'm doing this for the good people of Drake because they don't know what happened. Two springs ago, Moulton was suspended after reading his class a tribute he wrote to one of his heroes. Music legend Bob Dylan. He's the man is genius. Yes. But vulgarity and cursing in the short story got him suspended, prompting his bosses to demand a detailed written lesson plan going forward. And when he refused, he was canned. That's what we might end up getting down to as a matter of free speech in the classroom. Just two days ago, though, an arbitrator upheld his dismissal, and Moulton decided to create a stir, hoping a town will rally to his cause. I am a man of God, I am a man of the truth, and I am a man of justice, and I think all will prevail. The veteran teacher with two master's degrees was freed by a judge on the promise he'll stay away from all Drake at schools. Soft-spoken, he is not. Quite dynamic, it's not time for false modesty. The answer is blowing in the wind. Indeed, he is pledging to sue all connected with his firing and has written to President Obama to intervene. In Lowell, Ken McLeod, WBZ News.